Our next stop on our way, Sundance RV Resort. We are here. Hey everybody, this is David with uh, Tigner Adventures and we are at Sundance RV Resort. My wife Ninette and our little cat Tansy, we live full time and we are now work camping for the winter. It seems like summer. I tend to get it all mixed up all the time when I'm talking to people. It's like, well, in the winter, no, the winter was our summer and this is now our winter. Uh, but the weather here is pretty nice. It's like 365 days a year of sun. So the solar just loves it and it works pretty good. So we are all set up. I've actually gone extra steps. I've pulled everything out and got everything set up. You can kind of see. And uh, we have been just really kind of just settling in for the long haul. So let's go on a little tour of the resort. We'll show you what we got. Uh, we did do a, a work camping video on this park and just work camping here. So we've got several people that have actually seen that video that are now work camping here. So that's pretty exciting because it really is a fun place and it really is what they call a resort. So if you look here, you can see that video and uh, you can kind of watch it for yourself and decide if you want to work camp. So to start out with, let's look at the map of the resort. Oh, and before I go too far, um, I do want to mention that uh, I am not associated with Cal-Am in any way other than I'm a work camper, but uh, I'm not getting paid for this uh, video or anything. So just so you know, uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and start with this map and uh, you can see that the resort is actually broken up into two different areas. There's uh, kind of the front area and then there's the back area. And so if you look, uh, the front area is where most of the RVs that just are, you know, can leave and everything. That's where they, most of them park. However, there are places up front that are permanent and there's places in the back where RVs can park so um, it's just kind of a you know it's not all set in stone. I kind of wanted to also touch on the size of the uh, site. You can see we've got a lot of stuff in here. We've picked up a clam shell that we've got all set up now. Uh, we got quite a bit of room here. Our car fits just fine. There's actually quite a bit of room there that uh, we can uh, the neighbor can park there and uh, basically they park as close to the concrete pad as they can and that gives them over to the power pole and then I've just allocated about three feet for any slides that they might have so you can see the sites are pretty good size most sites are this size and uh, so it works out pretty good there are some that are a little bit smaller that they put smaller rigs into if they uh, when they come in but anyway so if you look back here in the back we do have the clubhouse with the pool and everything back here so we'll kind of go into more detail with that and up front we have the uh, offices and the concert hall and things like that and the sports court okay i'm going to start in the back with the uh, clubhouse and the swimming pool and as you can see it's a pretty good sized pool holds a lot of people and then over here to the right is the hot tub. It holds 15 people, so it's a pretty good size uh, hot tub. Uh, they also have um, this nice lounge area. And then here they have the uh, raised platform that uh, different groups come in and perform. So they have happy hour here twice a week, sometimes three and four times. Um, and then they also have this bar area where they sell chips and drinks. And when things get really cold um, here, then they actually have these uh, heaters they put out all around uh, to help um, keep people warm while they're going through these different performances. And the nice thing is, is this pool and hot tub is open 24-7. Uh, uh, so here's a night shot. Uh, they've started putting up lights for uh, Christmas already, but uh, it uh, lights up the pool very nicely and it really makes it really pretty. And then the other thing that is open 24 um, seven is the bathrooms and the showers. And they, the showers are really pretty good size. Each, um, the women's and men's both have three showers each, uh, very uh, well kept up. And from there, we actually go into the clubhouse and the clubhouse itself is open from 6 a.m. 
to uh, 10 p.m. each day, Monday through Sunday, uh, so seven days a week. And uh, we're going to start off here in the computer lab. And the computer lab, uh, they have two computers and a printer there, so you can use that at any, any time. It has internet service on those. Uh, they also have a copy machine and a scanner, so you can uh, either uh, load up uh, pages and, and copy them, or you can actually scan them into a document, so that's very handy. And then we leave the uh, computer lab, and we actually go to the uh, into where the uh, pool tables are. This is the main portion of the clubhouse. So they have uh, three pool tables. Um, they also have all the uh, different uh, pool sticks and balls and everything uh, that you can uh, right here to use so you don't have to go anywhere else to check them out. Uh, they also have a very nice library, uh, card uh, room. They have uh, like three different, there's only two of them here, but they have another card table out in the main hall area too where uh, people come in and play cards or could be whatever type of cards or um, different games that they actually want to play. They also have a indoor shuffleboard court and they have um, chess and checkers. They have, uh, they pretty much have anything. They even have uh, darts and um, so you can kind of pick out what you want and if you don't see it here or people aren't offering it as far as like an activity you can set up your own activity and invite people to attend so it's pretty nice they also have a really nice um, exercise room pretty good size <clears throat> has all different types of things like the you know the treadmill and it has a rolling machine and the weights and and it has the uh, free weights and it has the ellipticals you know so pretty good for being free uh, it also has a couple big screen TVs inside that uh, people will come in and, and put on their favorite shows or whatever they want to actually watch while they're working out and the last thing and those areas that I just showed you were all um, they're all open from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. every day um, the next thing I'm going to show you here is the laundry room the laundry room is open 24 hours a day and so that's really uh, handy when you get a lot of people here. Uh, the uh, washing machine, they have one uh, three load lo washing machine and then the rest of the washing machines are single but their single load washing machines have fairly big sized tubs in them and then they have one really large dryer and then the rest of them are just standard dryers. If you go with the large washer and the large dryer the cost is three dollars but the other ones all cost a dollar fifty each. And then finally, they have the uh, salon and spa, so they have an on-site on uh, set up here where uh, there's at least one lady, sometimes two, depending on the, you know, how many people are scheduling things, but they'll come in and they'll actually be working in the spa and it's here on site, so you don't actually have to go anywhere else to get your hair done or whatever else they actually do, so not one of my strong points, so I haven't been to a spa before, so not really sure, but... <laughs> On the outside, they have uh, this is where all the mailboxes are. So, if you come to Sundance and you stay any amount of time at all, then you're issued a, a mailbox key, and you can have mail forwarded here. And um, this is where you would actually pick it up. And then we're going to move up front to the office complex, and the office complex actually has the uh, ballroom or concert hall or. Anyway, it's the big room that uh, is used for uh, different concerts, it's used for bingo, it's used for uh, movie and dinner, um, and you know, just any little activity or you know, big event that's happening within the resort, we have this massive ballroom uh, and a stage. And so they have a lot of uh, bands that come in to play for here too. We had a Halloween party here and the band was on the stage and we were uh, here and have the dance floor right here. So it's a pretty nice little setup and they have some pretty nice uh, concerts that come through during the season. Also up front they have their sports complex and their sports complex includes a number of different activities. The first one here is golf. They have a, a little putting green here that allows you to practice your putting. They also have a cage back there where you can practice your swing. Um, all the activities have amenities next to it so that you can uh, use those at any time you want and then on 
After that, the next thing over is our bocce ball court. Uh, they have uh, six courts there. And then they also have a shuffleboard, uh, really nice shuffleboard courts and groups get together. They actually have organized activities twice a week for um, these different activities here. Uh, they also have uh, curling uh, for the Canadians. They have, uh, and then of course, the thing that Ninette loves is the pickleball courts. And they've got quite a good turnout for uh, pickleball players and they are pretty good and they go to other places to uh, uh, compete a lot of players will take off and get uh, into leagues and things that they go and perform at um, also the uh, standard horseshoe so they have a good size horseshoe area the nice thing about these uh, courts is that uh, each one of these sports uh, um, activities is that they are well lighted at night and so a lot of things happen in the um, late evening around here because of the heat um, not so much in the winter as it is in the summer but uh, everything is lighted and you know it does get dark pretty early in the winter time so it's uh, nice to um, have the bright lights and the things so it works out really well so on top of these uh, different uh, sports activities here that we have here on the at the resort uh, we do have some other things that are next door at the sister resort of uh, uh, Sundance. It's called uh, Fortuna del Rio. And they have a uh, golf course there. Uh, they also have softball fields that uh, we participate in. Uh, they have tournaments and things so that you can, uh, if you want to get on the softball team, you've uh, got that option. Uh, they also have a wood shop. Uh, currently, it's not open to um, the non residents of Fortuna right now. We uh, um, but other than that, we normally share back and forth, but because of the pandemic, there's still a few things that are still closed and uh, to outside uh, individuals. They um, also have a uh, nice dog park that's uh, to the side of the sports complex. And so you'll see a lot of people gathering there all the time with their dogs. And they're, right now they're going through and they're renovating it kind of or whatever I guess I don't know they half of it's blocked off and what they do is from time to time is they block half off and then they replant the grass and things like that to give it a chance to uh, stay ahead of the dogs uh, but there's a lot of activities here that the dogs can do and and they really you know it gets to be a, a community with the dogs because they all are excited to see each other here too so anyway it's kind of fun for them so that ends all the things that we actually have uh, here at uh, Sundance as far as amenities and things but uh, the resort also publishes a monthly newsletter of all the different activities and you know the newsletter includes a calendar and it also uh, talks about uh, you know all the different events that you should save throughout the uh, season and so you know they really work hard to try to keep everyone informed they do have coffee and donuts every other week I think it is and um, that way they kind of uh, if there's something left off on the calendar then they let everybody know so we actually came in here uh, three years ago um, on a pass that we picked up from Quartzsite each year the park goes up to uh, Quartzsite and they have a booth up there they hand out certificates for a three night stay um, no no ties attached type thing uh, we came in on that uh, there's basically only three things that you have to do to qualify for that first of all you have to be over age 55 because this is a 55 and older park uh, second your rig can't be any longer than 36 feet and then third uh, you have you can't have ever stayed here before and if that's the case they give you a free pass and, uh, and that's what we did we used to be always boondocking we we're out at uh, one of the big boondocking sites here and um, after we stayed there and was leaving we decided to come in here for three nights so that we could uh, get showered and get our clothes washed and uh, use the hot tub and things and so we kind of just started talking to work campers that's why we became a work camper here and we just kind of fell in love with the, the park based on all the activities that are going on so because of that we kind of uh, might be a little bit biased to this park because we love it so much but uh, we just wanted to kind of share this with you it's a pretty fun park. It's a good place to stay for the winter. So then, I guess the, the question is now what happens? So we finished our 183 uh, night stays during the summer, and uh, now we're here in Yuma. So this is gonna be for the winter, and we have lots of things planned for this winter um, that should be a lot of fun. We uh, wanna go to uh, Tucson, to the Aircraft Museum there. 
Uh, there's a bridge to nowhere here. There's the Yuma prison. There's uh, a bunch of dispersed camping areas we wanted to visit. Uh, plus, this year we're going to also be up at Quartzsite for the big white tent sale uh, for the whole time of the tent sale up there. So we are going to, uh, we'll probably do a little bit of work with the resort up there on their booth. Uh, but other than that, we'll just be out and about and hoping to meet a lot of people. So if you happen to be up there, we'd love to, to uh, meet you and uh, just see uh, what's going on when, in your life and uh, what you have planned right now. But for us, we're going to be trying to keep uh, things under control here because uh, it does it is easy to get out of control <laughs> there's so many things going on uh, so many different activities uh, so many new people to meet uh, the park pretty much goes from about 40 people to uh, close well that's 40 mailboxes okay that's how I, I look at the terms there since I work in the mailroom but 40 mailboxes to almost 500 mailboxes so um, during the winter months so a lot of people come in a lot of people from Canada and so we just meet all kinds of interesting people have a lot of uh, interesting little uh, get-togethers and uh, happy hours so it's a lot of fun and I think that's uh, what life is supposed to be all about so um, but we do plan on going out and doing some other things and if you haven't kind of figured out by now um, I'm not sure how to deal with this but uh, this particular video is kind of late because we're actually about a month behind we have actually been in Yuma for a month now and uh, we're just waiting for all our videos to catch up because we had so many of them that we needed to get published I've been doing two videos a, a week uh, one on our trip and one on uh, kind of do-it-yourself type things or you know teaching items uh, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna work that in as we move along throughout the, the channel because um, I really hate to be behind that far. I like to be a little bit more current uh, with the events and things like that. But uh, just so you understand, this is we've been here a month now. We are really enjoying it. And you know what? Man, it seems like we got here yesterday. I was telling my wife, I says, man, we've only got five more months and we're back on the road again, uh, back going back east this year. At least that's what the plan is. We'll let you know on the next video kind of where we're going and uh, what uh, new events that we have planned. Uh, they, Yuma does have a, a really cool balloon fest that uh, we attended, so we are going to uh, be uh, putting that video together for you. I think you'll, you'll like that one. It was really up close and personal on that one, so that was kind of fun. So anyway, but for now, we'll just say that we'll see you down the road, and hopefully it'll be on one of our next videos. So take care.